Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm. By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. He is one of the best heavyweights in the world, Harris Francis, Ciro Gan, and that infectious smile certainly gets wiped away on fight night, but this is a guy who absolutely enjoys competition as much as any heavyweight on this roster. Figures to have a striking advantage in this matchup and in most matchups in the heavyweight division. Most of these guys, if they have it in their repertoire, are gonna try to take him down. So what has he done? Gan's gone back to the drawing board. He has spent so much time working on his wrestling and takedown defense that he believes his sprawl is gonna show up large here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> champion and most of the heavyweights will tell you he is one of the more difficult big guys to prepare for because he moves like a little guy and certainly in our fighter meeting with Gon this week he talked a lot about being light on his feet staying on the outside of the power punches of his opponent and uh, a lot of these heavyweights have had a hard time finding that kill shot against Sudo Gon. Champ Cito gone, and you see the footwork right away as this fight gets started. Yeah, the footwork leads to the jab. The guy does a great job of moving into you, and then he pops you. And then the moment you start to rush, he drops the big right hand on you. Cyril Gan is a hard, hard puzzle to solve, especially as you go up in weight classes. Heavyweights don't move like Cyril Gan, and you can see that as we watch him right now. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. 
All right, so a quiet pedestrian start to this fight, DC. Maybe too much respect on both sides. What do you say? Too much respect. And you saw it in the buildup. They were hugging at the weigh-ins. It's almost like we're watching friends. You guys are here to fight. Get going. Start to implement the game plan that you've worked on over the course of the last eight weeks of the fight camp. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. That leg kick lands. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. There you go. Look for the shot. Nice jab by Zero God. He's hurt. Oh! Strong outside leg kick. Just over two minutes to go. Good punch, man. And blocks that hard punch. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this game. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the fight, and ending your combination with the kick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, nice right hand. Looking to land the right just out of range. Check that kick as well. Well, he is a true fight finisher, and Alex Pereira has really managed risk well tonight. Not necessarily going for the kill shot. We'll see if it materializes here late in the round. Well, I think it speaks to his evolution of an MFA. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but he's not discriminating, attacking the thigh pretty effectively. Yeah, we have seen that time and time again. Starter mixed martial arts, people throw leg kicks. Right now you can see him digging his shit into this guy's thigh. 15 seconds remain in the round. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fifth. Outstanding round and another five minutes coming up. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. You ready to fight? I'm interested to see what ready. changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. All right, let's get to round two. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level expression. Now a cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like that. He's got to start going now. Boom! Big jab. Oh! Huge 
Luger's left hand. Good. Keep the pressure on him. Great job by Sidogon. He used his feet to get inside and land the jab. A lot of people are going to be trying to take this guy down, but he moves so well. People talk about Cyril Ghan as if he moves like a welterweight. No, he moves more like a bantamweight. We have always talked about guys moving more like a bantamweight. Cyril Ghan moves like one of those guys at heavyweight. That's why he presents so many problems. And not only does he have that beautiful jab, he possesses a ton of power that can put you up. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. That was a big check. Gon's eye now closing up. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Perfect execution on that team. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Just missed on the front kick there. Circling towards the left now. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, look at that. Pressure, pressure, pressure. The right hand just misses. But a desire is starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Smells blood in the water. Got to start looking for the finish here. Oh, right hand landing. There you go. He's hurt. He's hurt. No. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Alex Pereira going for the leg kick. He does not connect. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his Ready nose. Ready fight? Ready. Go. Round three of a possible five. 
All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what the Starting to show some visible bruising now. It's showing visible bruising, and you can see his movements are a bit labored. Look for him to try to switch his stances and try to hide that leg because he has to do something. Circling to his right. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Big leg kick. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Big shot to the head. Come on, let's work. Landed the over. Bring up over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Relax, relax. Well, that body kick was there earlier. You're not there on that attempt. It's time to start using that low kick. All right, so the bruising on that thigh continues to worsen as this fight extends. He's going to have a real hard time walking in the morning. He's going to have a difficult time walking tomorrow, bro. It's going to be a hard time getting up and moving around unless he changes something. Nothing is going to change right now. It's going to be tough. But right now, you still got to focus on winning the fight. Check a kick, man. Come on. Pop. So much damage, starting to show some signs of bruising there. It's already starting to limit him. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Just out of range with that strike. Gons taking aim at that cut. Oh, another debilitating kick to the leg. I mean, what are you saying? Are you going to be the guy that gets stopped by the low kicks? <laughs> well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Under 20 seconds now to go. Well, we talk so much ad nauseum about this trend of leg kicks in MMA, but oftentimes only a few can cause real visceral damage, and now you see the limp. Yeah, you start to see him limping from the damage from the kicks. This guy did not address those kicks early, and now he's paying for it. 
All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was. He hurt him pretty badly there in the middle of the round. Got to think he's going to be looking for more of the same here when they get up off the stools. I don't know who it is. I don't know who we're watching fight. But I tell you, as he walks back, he looks like Bambi. When Bambi was born and her legs were shaking, that's exactly how this man looked when he took that right hand. He was hurt bad, John. And the ability to get through that, the ability to still be in this fight shows to his toughness. But if he doesn't change it, he won't be in, he will not get another chance. Bambi. Bambi. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. So here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Able to land, but barely with that front kick. Any signs of slowing down tonight? He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Keep your hands up and keep that head moving. Head movement. Gon's trying to make that eye swing. Beautiful combination. His left leg would appear to be compromised at this point in time. You see he's limping, having a hard time putting weight on it. And it appeared as though it was that last kick that did the damage. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. You gotta hit his cut. Let's go. Hit his cut. Swing and a miss by Padet. Back to the jab now. No good. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Oh, he lands another huge leg kick downstairs. Lord have mercy, man. This could be the beginning of the year. John, it's time for his corner to start looking at stopping this fight. He has taken far too many of these leg kicks. Oh, big left hand. That leg kick hurt. Everything's landing perfect. Under three minutes now to go on the round. He's got a good leg kick. There it is. Oh, nice check on the leg kick off right there. All right, big storyline starting to develop here. That cut really starting to gap wide open as this fight continues. And you can watch. Oh, man, he's hurt. He does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. What a fight. What a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured. Huge shots landing on both sides. That'll do it! Sid gone. As many style points as you could produce. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh my goodness. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, three seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Surreal Bogomol. 
right, so we hear, and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of hype, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he...